Let's click on the tar file here. Downloads folder, um, asterisk.tar. And we could do tar x. And then we could do what's called 1000.tar. Okay. So we did that. So now what do we have? We have two. <laughs> do, you, do you all see what's kind of happening here? Exactly, Mr. Silent. That's what we just did. We have to be unzipping it 1,000 times. All right, so who wants to do that? Who wants to unzip this thing 1,000 times? Thinking of how we could do it automatically, um, bash could be an example. Um, but, you know, I kind of like us just staying in the Python world for right now. We've had some, uh, we've been learning quite a bit about Python just by doing it live. Okay, import tar file. Okay, so we can import it. And once we import it, we can read. We can check to see if it actually is a tar file. All right, I'm going to take this last one. Uh, we're going to copy this one out. It's, uh, it's saying import system. So there's also system, and then there's another one that's over here that we could do an import on the OS. Now, if we did an import um, on the OS, uh, we could uh, do things, you know, such as like there's like an OS. Uh, I think there's a read file, and it may be, this is just sudo, and there's also a delete file. Um, so there's a couple things it looks like you can do there. Um, so import. And this is using the tar file library. So this is already built into the whole system, right? Uh, tar, it's just going to give an open as a read only. We're not going to need to do this right here. We don't need to do that. Um, and then for tar info and tar, tar.extract. So we probably would be doing that one. We need a loop. Everybody kind of with me here? A loop here, 4,000. Uh, inside that loop, we would need to open the file open the tar file three we would need to extract the tar file four we need to close the tar file and then five we would need to delete because we don't want it eating up a bunch of our delete the tar file <clears throat> We don't want it. We don't want to have like a thousand files in there. And I guess we could delete those um, like later if we wanted to, but that would be a lot of additional work. And then um, at the end of this, uh, step number six is that we would have that file. You know, it just showed just a second ago, it comes with like a text file. We just open the text equals winning. And this is going to be, we're going to use the range. And so. If we had the IntelliSense, it would tell us there's just three parameters that's looking for. I think there's two parameters that's, that's using. So we're going to use none, none, none. So the 999 is we're going to start the loop from none, 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 and then we're going to go down, right? So none, 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 zero. And then we're going to just simply, uh, we're going to reduce it by one each time. And then we're going to add uh, dot. T A R. So if we wanted to test uh, this one, um, we could come down here. We could go print, and we could simply go F N. Uh, let's see. I'm looking for the file. This one. Okay. Uh, so taking a look at this, um, I'm not going to scroll all the way back up to the top, but um, you can see right now we're looking pretty good. We're going to do a little bit of this manually. Let's go save. It's okay. This time we're not going to remove it. Then we'll just run a quick script to get rid of it. Um, here. Okay. Boom. 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 Okay. Now. Let's go back to... Let's wait for this thing to finish. Uh, T-A-R-5. And then close this out. And let's go submit. There we go.